So what I say is, when I work with people you know, online or through counseling or one-on-one -on -one or people who live in community with me, we really zoom into the core, core teaching because it's really the Course is like a symphony. It just keeps coming and symphonically pointing at the same principle and going round and round and round and trying different nuances and language and angles and Shakespearean blank verse and <laughs> double negatives and I mean <laughs> anything you can to get through to you. And as soon as you get the essence of the, of the core principle of A Course in Miracles, which is really the essence of forgiveness, then it really comes down to not making exceptions. And that's what the workbook's about. But I think you should do the workbook with a sense of, of ease, not with a sense of perfectionism, not with a sense of being obsessive, because this is where the efforting goes berserk, you know, like, you, it says seven practice periods and you, you miss one and you just beat yourself up all night. You can't hardly sleep because you only got six in and you missed one. No, Jesus is, is very, there's always another lesson. You know, it's almost like you just give what you can give and you, you try your best to do what you can do with it, but you don't keep it on like, there's a scorekeeper like keeping score. Because that's, that's more from like they call it like type A personality and that, you know, that striving and pushing that we taught was really good. It doesn't work very well in spiritual awakening when we, we are critical, when we, we hammer ourselves. I found more and more when I just relaxed, uh, when I just relaxed and really stepped into, okay, what is it that I can really give and offer, took some deep breaths and went with it, then things opened up so fast and I got softer and more gentle and more easy. And even Helen Shuckman, she one time said in an interview that she said she tried to lose this course. She would, she would write it down in shorthand and everything, but she would leave it in the taxi cab, you know, leave it sticking here, leave it there. And people were always coming up, like the friends that helped you and you, were bedridden. There were people always bringing the course back. She said, I just couldn't lose this course. She, she couldn't let it go. It kept coming to her, coming to her. And I feel like that's the attitude we need to take, is that we can't mess it up. You absolutely can't mess this course up. Then you can take some deep breaths and relax and go, ha, ah, okay. I'm going to have some fun with this. I'm going to make this into an adventure. I'm not going to constantly judge myself. Could I have done more? What did I miss? You know, are there other people that are really advancing in this and I'm just the dunce of the universe? You know, these are the kind of thoughts that the ego tries to hold us down with. And really, I think we should be very, very lighthearted with this.